Hi, I'm Joanne Russell, past Wimbledon champion, doubles 1977. And now I've found pickleball and I love it. I'm gonna teach you how to move. So first things first, let's see how we move. Just move to, you're moving to the center. Mo, John, you're moving to the sideline and back. Just nice and easy, just to warm up and touch and come back. And stay in the ready position, you know, because, hey, that's where we're going to be. All right, so next time you go over, just touch the line and touch the line. And just go back and touch the line, and that's fine. And keep your head up, because even here, you know, we're using our eyes to see the ball. You don't want to be jogging your head back and forth, because think about it. Your head is really heavy, and so every time you do it, you have to bring it back up to center. So use your eyes to see things. If you get down low enough, you don't have to bob your head up and down. All right, and now I'm gonna teach you guys how to practice with each other on this footwork thing. So now, ready position. I'm gonna make you, and you can dink it. See, this is where you would dink anyway. You hit a soft ball right in here. What we're gonna do is say 10 balls. Now, I do a lot of counting. Now, why do I do counting? Because when you count and I count, you focus a little bit harder. Because if I said, okay, we're gonna make 10, if you miss one, you have to go back to zero. So uh, a lot of times with kids, they'll get to nine and they just lose it. And I go, zero. And they're like, oh, 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 yeah, oh. And I go, no. I said, 10. Make 10 means get 10 over the net. That's it. I didn't say at the baseline, a bullet by me. It's just 10 dinks right here. So it's going to be just one step that way back to the center like this. Dink, dink. No, just back and forth. Okay, one, good, and two, and three, take one, good, four, and five, good, oh, you dink so well, six, here we go, that's all right, six, whoops, good one, you made it, seven, eight, nine, that is fabulous dink, and ten. Okay, perfect. All right, so John, come on out. So now, you, you've warmed up, your legs are warmed up, your hips are warmed up. You're gonna be spread a little bit wider. You're gonna do a 20 ball drill. So you're gonna just go out there and hit it over there. You guys already know very nicely how to go side to side. But this is what a beginner has to learn. This is you know, you're guarding your, your line. It's a recovery step. So you have to get a little, people have to get a little fitter. So you practice a 20 ball drill. And it's just 20 balls, dink, you can dink it right to me. One, two, and three, and four. Don't cross your feet. No crossing your feet. Five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, yes, eleven, oops, there we go, twelve, thirteen, very nice dinking, fourteen, good, and don't forget to breathe, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, ooh, almost, eighteen again, Oh, 18, you're stuck on 18. 18, come on over there, don't cross your feet. 19 and 20, beautiful, nice, good job. So the reason why we do that, I mean, hey, if you had a 20 dink rally, that would be amazing. So now we're gonna go to the next progression. All right, so we're gonna do, because you guys have shown that you know how to do it all, we're gonna to go to what I call the Simone drill. I stole it from her. So, we're gonna put a thing there, and then we're gonna go cross court, so. We'll put it about there, just put it on the line. So, 
Um, you're going to come out in a minute. Mo, you're going to go over there. I'll just demonstrate the drill for you. So what we're doing here, it's cooperative drill. And this is so that you're on the other side of that. So here, I'll put this over for me. That little circle is a reminder that you, once you go out here and you hit the ball cross court, all four of us move this way. And I'm moving back to get to the middle. So when you first start out in this drill, you can time it. You can do a lot of things. Like Simone, who taught me this drill, she'd time it for three minutes. Oh my goodness, I was exhausted. So we start out, we're doing back and forth. So, but each time after you hit, oh no, we, you're not starting out there. Come on back. Put your left foot right there. So go cross court. So hit and touch. Hit and touch. Hit. Now move back. Cover. See, this is a cover drill. So now you're going, yep. OK, now get back there and touch it. Good, but it's, this is hit it, cover the middle. Because basically, what we see is we hit it, and we stay there, and what's open? The middle. So come on over, because you're going to be the person standing next to me. Even though Mo might not hit a ball, which happens in pickleball, we're going to be going back and forth, and then you guys are going to switch because that is a little more exhausting position. So we're going to go back and forth, and this is what you can, you can do this drill with each other. Because, look, you, I can put this, like if you're not quite as in shape, you know, hey, move it over there. Don't be, don't be stubborn. Like you move over a step, you hit it, touch. You move over. You touch. Now you kind of got used to it and you're better. This is your goal is to get it over there. I mean, hey, sometimes I don't really like it over there either. But it does make, it forces you to remember you got to cover the middle because what is Mo doing if I toss the ball over here? Where, where do you go? Yes, exactly. See, this is good. I, you guys have been taking some lessons. Because most people, the only thing that moves is their head. If the ball goes over here, they just move their head, and that is it. Everyone has to move and cover with the ball. That's what this is. I've hit it to you, I move back. I hit it, I move back. I hit it, I move back. And my partner is moving back. All right, now go down the middle. Oh, I'll go down the middle. <laughs> oh, your partner is so bad. <laughs> but um, so now, Mo, you go over there, and you just slide over. You're going to play with Mo. And see, if you have one other friend, you go, I think they want to practice. You can do threes. It doesn't necessarily have to be the two of you, because Somebody always has to move. So you can be doing this, and they can be practicing there. And then all of a sudden, if you're not back covering the middle, and it's wide open, I'll go there. So we're just going to go and go back and touch and go. That's right. Look at him cover that middle. There you go. See, that's what this drill. She hit a ball way over here, and I'm desperate. You covered that, but as I'm about to hit it, who covered the middle? Whew, thank goodness. Let me just move this over a teeny bit. So that's what we're doing. Put your foot on that. Here, we'll make it a little, put a little closer. Push that little yellow dot over, closer to the mid. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to ask you a question. Where is the middle? What is the middle? What is the middle? The center line is not the middle, unless you are perfectly positioned to be, it be the actual middle. The middle is the space between you and your partner. 
Mo and John. So say I move over here and my partner doesn't move over. Well, that middle is huge. So you guys are trying to not give up the highest percentage shot you can give up, which is the middle. So we're gonna start again. So we're gonna go cross court and it's cooperative, but hit it and move back. Hit it and move back and then cover the middle. Yep. Hit it and move back, cover, reset, hit it, go. That's it. So where's the ball? Go. Whoop. All right. But see, this is a very good drill. And then you have this. You can use your hat. You can use a cone. It doesn't matter. These are things you take home with you and go, we can, honey, we can practice that. Yes, we can do it. So these are easy. And if at first they're not quite getting it, you can toss it. You know, start there. And then I toss it over to you. You hit it back. And then you come back. You hit it over there. And you go, ooh, don't miss. OK. What's the worst error in pickleball? Hitting it in the net. What's the second worst error? Out wide. Best error is if you're going to make an error, make it deep. How many times has somebody been standing right here? and they hit a ball. Like you're yelling out if it's your partner, or you're going, oh my goodness, they hit that ball. So there you go. That's as simple as it gets. It's like inside him going, oh, I missed it in the net. Worst error. Come on, Joanne. Get it over. And even if it's high, it doesn't matter. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that. And go. There we go. Oh. Very nice. All right, I love that.